Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi and it's Sunday, so you know that yesterday got away from me and I did not get a video up for you. And so we're gonna do it today. Instead of a Saturday, we're gonna do it on Sunday. I'm really sorry that honestly, the day just got away from me. Um, and I've been working a lot on nails uh, in an effort to keep myself from getting into a, a depression. Uh, and I had already watched the movie. It was just I needed to sit down and put on some makeup, which I didn't do, and make a video for you guys. And I was going to put on makeup for you this morning, but I'm only halfway through this project I'm on. My desk is a mess, and I just don't want to put it all away, pull out all the makeup, put all the makeup away, and then pull everything back out to finish this project. So here we are. <laughs> Let's talk about a shitty horror film, which, guys, this movie was not shitty. Also, not a horror film. I am so fed up with Netflix and Hulu and the way that they label movies. I just need to rant about that for one quick second. Bear with me. We need to stop classifying thrillers as horrors. Thrillers are great. I love me a thriller. Thrillers are fabulous. They're not horror. Horror is different. There's a flavor of, of, of atmosphere, uh, a creepiness that is not in thrillers. And I end up picking thrillers because I do like thrillers, but because they say they're scary. They're not scary. They're tense. So I'm going to try to refine my searching skills to look for things. Um, and I'm going to try to get more horror, guys. But this week's movie is a thriller. Um, or at least to my mind it is. Okay, I would not call this a horror movie. Although if I found myself in the situation, I would be horrified. But not in a way that a horror film would horrify me. Okay, so... I do want to say as well that it's going to be really hard for me to talk about this movie without spoiling it. And we are two and a half minutes into the video and I'm just now getting around to telling you that the movie that I watched is called What Keeps You Alive. The movie is written and directed by Colin Minihan. I'm going to have to look for more of his work if there is more because honestly I enjoyed this movie. It kept me entertained the whole time and on the edge of my seat to see how it would play out. Um, like I said, I'm going to spoil this. So if you do not want spoilers, please just go watch the movie. It's on Netflix. This video is not sponsored. So what is going on is that there is a woman named Jackie married to a woman named Jules. Jackie is played by... They really do not show you the whole name. Uh, Hannah Emily Anderson. Sorry, I'm reading. And uh, Jules is played by Brittany Allen. And there are a few other people in the movie. But they're honestly just props. So we're going to just go on. <sighs> Jackie and Jules have been married for a year. And... Jackie has inherited a cabin from, I want to say a grandparent. Forgive me, it's been a few days since I watched this. And, <clears throat> my goodness, excuse me. Um, so, <laughs> Jackie has not been back here for a really long time. And, honestly, once you start to hear some of her backstory and what has happened here... Why she chose to come here is just, there's no logic to it at all, at all. So that was the, the serious sticking point in the movie for me was that any even halfway rational psychopath is going to know this is not a good idea. But 
she does it. She does it. And I, I like I said, there's going to be spoilers. I just spoiled that Jackie is crazy. Okay? She is... <sighs> She's in it for the money, y'all. There's just no two ways about it. She has brought her new wife out here to kill her. And... Unfortunately for Jackie, Jules has met some of the neighbors and the neighbors remember Jackie from being here back in the day, but Jackie is not her name. And he, calling her by her real name, which I'm having a hard time remembering right now. I do not recall what it was because the whole time Jackie and Jules, it's Jackie and Jules, right? Um, and so it takes a, a I'm not good with names, so once Jackie was stuck in my head, it was hard to replace it with what her real name is. But you find out pretty early on that she's trying to hide who she is, which is why, why would she come back here? Now, the stuff that makes this movie good, because all of this is revealed not too far into the movie by Jackie pushing Jules off the fucking mountain. They're standing on the edge of, of a cliff, on a mountain in the fucking forest and Jules is standing there looking over the side she turns around and goes oh my god Jackie it's so beautiful here or whatever she's saying and before she can even get the full sentence out Jackie pushes her off the mountain <gasps> and the whole time before it happens I'm like girl you're in danger you're in danger girl you're in danger you got to get out of here danger 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 Will Robinson so I was tripping this movie had me on the edge of my seat. So immediately Jackie starts to get her act straight. She is rehearsing how she's going to interact with other people now that her wife has fallen off the mountain. She goes to, and this is, guys, this is still early in the movie. I have spoiled it for you, but Honestly, if you're still watching, you've seen this movie. You're just reliving these moments with me right now. So, um, they were good moments, you guys. They were such good moments. Um, so, cut to Jules. Jules is not fine, but she is not dead. And Jackie figures that out pretty quick. And what ensues from there is this deadly cat and mouse game between the two women. And Jackie overconfidently thinks she has the upper hand. And Jules is smarter than her wife gives her credit for. So this movie was so good, you guys. I really enjoyed it. Besties, if you are looking for something to watch on Netflix, do not hesitate to click that play button when you see this movie. <sighs> What Keeps You Alive is so good. I really thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I am going to go ahead and say again, it is a thriller. It is not a horror. And Netflix, please get your shit together on your labeling. I really would appreciate that. And you as well, Hulu. Get it together. Okay, guys, my score on this movie before we head out of this video, I'm going to give it a four. It is a really solid movie. And if it wasn't for the fact that this woman came to a place that she knew she'd be recognized. I don't, I don't get that. So uh, that's why it's not getting a higher score because I honestly really enjoyed this movie. Guys, let me know in the comment section below if you've seen this movie and if you have, what did you think about it? We will see you next week for some more videos and um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Mwah! Bye.